in today's video. We completely disregard the fact that my last video was from a couple days ago where Solos actually went away and we're going to upload another Solos video because I really love Solos. I have a lot of Solo content stored up that I really want to continue to make and Solos comes back in a couple weeks so, you know, we're going to be making Solos content from that anyway. So, don't shout at me. Don't hate me. More Ballistic Solos content. But in this video, while I was streaming, I was actually handing out what I would consider some pretty good advice on how to improve your mindset when it comes to Apex. Whether you want to get into kill grinding, you just want to improve at the game, or you want to work towards certain goals, but you're really struggling mentally to actually get there. I think I offer some advice that helps you approach it a little bit differently, and how to improve, but on your own terms, and how you can use your own limitations to your advantage. And then after that, I do clarify it. I do sort of go into a little bit more detail and a little bit more of a structured way, because this game that I'm about to show you where I'm giving this advice, I am popping off. It is a very high kill, high damage game, so there are sometimes little breaks, and I'm also interacting with chat, so I do go into it a little bit more detail after. And then the final game, we run Triple Havoc, and it is absolutely disgusting. So, without wasting any more of your time, if you haven't already, please make sure to like, subscribe, even just leave a comment for more Apex Ballistic content, and I'll see you in the game. I can't tell though, would I rather face teamers or cheaters? I just feel like I'd rather face cheaters. Oh. I think I'd definitely rather face a cheater because that's just sort of one and done. Why are you still in the stairs? Why is he still in the stairs? Someone else is in my building. <gasps> I said it's a single file on accident. Bro, I'm not dying to another Mastiff. I, that would have been three Mastiff deaths in a f row. Not having it. Yeah, it's like going for fight games. It's like, it's something I really don't advise doing. Like, you want to go in with a mindset of getting the most kills you can out of a game, not going for a set amount of kills, because you will just be disappointed. Jesus Christ. Leave me the f*** alone. I f myself. Bro, I still did 138 though. <laughs> I know, I'm not me running into my own name. You should come naturally, yeah, exactly. You'll always be a lot like better at like getting high kill games if you just let it happen naturally. I'm not trying to force it. I'm doing good. Bro, why is it this building all the time? What the hell? Every time I go, there's just someone in this building. Oh, wow, it's like, kill gun for me. So mind numbing, if you're aiming for like 200 a day, last 50 will be some painful. No, actually. Oh, you're such a roller. You're such a roller. Give me the havoc, because we all know I'm a havoc crutch. Ooh. I've started to try and distribute my time rather than saying i'm gonna get 200 kills today i say i'm gonna play for five hours etc just let it be natural let the games be and then you often find that you end up playing a lot better and get a lot more kills per hour does this guy not know how to use his uh alt attack i don't know where i'm going I'm scared more I've decided I'll stop trying in Apex and just no-brain it. Yeah, that's what I do. That's what I do, and that's how I was able to get, like, 20k seasons. And then, I think, once I realised I was could get a 20k season, I then, in season 18 and following seasons, tried to put brain power into it, and it made it a lot more harder because it made it a lot more fatiguing. Whereas in season 17, while I had goals, it was a little bit more, like, brainless. If that makes sense. God, this gun is just not fun. Dude. 
What the hell, potato? Trying to get 5k mirage shield and all, but lose motivation so quick. I would recommend when you're getting on, just have that 5k seasonal goal in mind and then play to how much you can each day. You know, rather than saying you're going to do a set amount of kills, uh, Pato, just, just say you're going to hop on and you're going to play for as long as you can. Whether that's an, whether that's 30 minutes, whether that's an hour, maybe whether that's 5 hours. You know, try that and then go from there, is what I recommend. That's not something I've done in the past. But it's something I'm starting to do, and it's really helping with my motivation. Really helping. God, I do not like the R9. Holy! I peak, my peak kills in a day is 130. Well then, if you feel like you can do 130 one day, do 130. But if you feel like you can only do 30 kills... Like, don't think about it in terms of, like, how many kills you've gotten as a peak in a day. Like, my peak's, like, 500 and something. Like... And that was because of solos. I will never push myself past a li my limit. And your limit will change every day. Like, a lot of the time, th y you need to have discipline, obviously. But at the end of the day, this is a f game, so this doesn't really apply to life. But you do need to have some level of discipline when it comes to if you want to achieve a goal. But you also need to listen to yourself. You need to, like, listen to yourself and, like, what you can handle that day, what you can handle that week, because there is no point trying to grind for a high, like, kill character if you are forcing yourself on the game every single day. Like, I did that, and I would be at probably 80 plus thousand kills on Ballistic if I didn't do that in Season 18. Because I did that. Season 18... Season 19, not so much, and then last season, I pushed myself when I didn't, when I really couldn't. But, like, I should have just been like, right, I'm going to play, and then I got off when I wanted. Because 50 kills in a day is way better than zero kills in a day. Do you know what I mean? I was this purple Bangalore running away from this white armor Pathfinder. That's weird. We'll try that with motivational speaker. <laughs> that's um that's always everyone's that, I think is I, I know a lot about in mindset and often people attribute why they can't do a certain thing, especially in Apex, to mechanics and skill when it's actually mindset. You know what I mean? Oh, if the games are bad, you're not, you're not, and like you're not having a good time, and it's having an effect on on the gameplay. Hop off, take a break. It ain't worth pushing through it. Yeah, like there's a reason why casual players, while they're struggling at the minute, like even even you know they there's nothing on the line for them. If they simply do not want to play, they don't play, and their impression of Apex is a lot better than ours. They can play Apex with a little bit. Like I'm not gonna lie, there's times when I watch MC play. And like he might have a bad time, and then he gets off, and he's like, "Nah, I can't do this." And I'm like, and I look, he envy it because I feel like I I didn't feel like I could do that. Whereas actual fact, I could. I was just forcing myself to stay on because I'm, you know, supposed to be taking Apex a little bit more seriously because I want to make content from it. No, in fact, that's not the case. You know, all these pro players that put hours and hours into the game because they have so much passion, brother. You are like not real. They have so much passion. They put hours and hours into the game. Not only do they have time, which is one thing that a lot of us don't have, but they also have passion. Time goes a lot quicker when you have passion, and we all know that. So, yeah, they're putting in 8 hour plus, 12 hour plus sessions, but guess what? They are extremely passionate, and they are having fun while doing it. They are striving towards a goal. If you're not, if you're not that right now, that's completely okay. This is hitting too close to heart. <laughs> I used to feel like I had to stick through it, but no, I don't. So, I don't actually get as many kills as I used to. I, I don't even play every single day. And I have and I have never enjoyed Apex more in my entire life. Not even lying. <laughs> Alright, pop a bat on this door. Bit of confidence and keeping a positive mindset. Keep, yeah. You're not going to have confidence if you're not happy. That's a quote. Oh, 
I have a Devo. I have a Devo. I have a Devo. Well, this is gonna be a. This is a banger. Banger. Yeah. Double Devo to end the game. I got could count as bullying. Yeah, but I'm happy, so. What a quote. <laughs> Wait, is he wearing like the same thing as me? Yeah, he is. Yep. Oh, that was some emotional damage right there. Oh my god. I just bullied so hard. Nice. And I think it's important that I sort of elaborate on this just a little bit because that was obviously a little bit jumbled because I was in the middle of a game. And I think what's actually important is that's actually something that I've been implementing since I actually said that on stream, like maybe a couple weeks ago. I'm not playing to do a certain amount of kills per session, I'm playing to do a certain amount of hours per session, whatever I feel like I can handle that day, so it changes from day to day. And while you might feel like you get less kills or you play less day to day or week to week, it's more consistent, so not only if you're if you're interested in kill grinding, not only will you get more consistent kills than grinding two, three hundred kills in a session, doing that for a couple weeks and then burning yourself out, or doing that for a single week and burning yourself out, and then making the mistake I did and not being able to truly get back on the horse since then. Season 17 me where I got 20,000 kills and I was doing it every single day I did what I felt like I could rather than trying to force I guess a set amount of kills per day. There were some days I was able to get to 400 kills in a day because I didn't really set myself a limit and I could do that in that day. So I sort of went, went off what I could handle and there were some days that I just simply wasn't able to do more than 100 and I didn't but I still was able to get 20,000 kills in one season because yes I was grinding but I was putting a little bit less thought into it in a bit of a weird way and just listening to what I wanted and it really made me enjoy the game and everybody has a really bad perception of season 17 whereas I on the other hand absolutely loved it because not only did my favourite character come out but my favourite grind that I have ever done to this day came out. When I started in following seasons, try to structure it and force myself to do what I did in season 17 every single day and set myself goals that I just really don't think I could have really hit. Like, I was a little bit fatigued. You do 20,000 kills in one season, you are going to be a bit fatigued in the season after. And I thought I'll do the same the next season. And it really didn't work out. And I actually think that mindset, which I had over maybe season 18 and 19, really s slowed me down kill grind wise. So I could actually have a lot more kills if I was just a little bit more intuitive and a little bit listening to myself a little bit more and just trying to put consistency and you know do little and often rather than try and do these big grind days and then end up burning myself out which is a mistake I've now made multiple times and I'm trying to learn from but if you are looking to get into kill grinding or you're looking to just improve at apex in general my best advice is little and often do as much as you possibly can if you can play for one hour two hours do it but, you know, if you're starting to feel a little bit fatigued and you want to get off, just simply get off when you want. Do not force yourself, because it's a video game at the end of the day. It's not a job. It's nothing like that. Get off when you want, and I promise your relationship with the game and whatever game you're currently playing will vastly improve if you play it on your terms. And you'll also find a weird little switch that will flip in your brain. You will actually probably play for longer and actually do a lot more in the long run because you're doing it because you want to. You're doing it because you want to be there. You know, saying you're going to play for an hour can lead to you playing for two or three because you got that first hour done and you can keep going. Rather than saying, I'm playing for three hours and then by the first hour you're like, oh, I've got to do the, I've got to do, do another hour and then I've got to do another hour on top of that. Oh my god. No, it's a video game. It's really not that deep. Trust me, the more you listen to yourself and what your limits are, the better time you will have, I, I promise you. You know, you should always push yourself, you should always push yourself to go a little bit beyond your limit, which is something that, you know, requires some discipline, but that changes day to day, so you should definitely listen to yourself. If you feel like you can only really play for maybe an hour and a half, try an hour and 45, you know, if, if you want to try and push yourself in that way. That's a way that you can push yourself, but also listen to yourself at the same time. So, sorry if that was as long as the video that you just watched, but we're going to get into another game here where it's just me having some fun and I think we run triple havoc which is disgusting so do enjoy it's all good gonna fly again now What? 
What the hell? How stupid do you think I am? Oh wow, they're in full force today. Jesus Christ. My movement was kind of slick, I'm not even gonna lie. My little slides there were kind of clean. That guy would have made DSU proud. Why is my aim so bad? <gasps> Why is my aim actually so bad? What the f It's a level 4. Dude, where were my bullets going? Bro. Life on MNK. True Zane. Welcome in, by the way. Oh. Get a panzer. Get a golden habit. Here's my blue. I'm actually scared of this level four. No, it's not. My arm's in a weird place. Thank you. Four points or whatever. But you get that. It's so fun to me. Ooh, give me this instead. You, you did that. You, I didn't think I was going to win that the second time, to be honest. I thought I got away with some nice sliding movement the first time. I did not think the second time was going to work in my favor. You did, brother. The, the not havoc stream? Bro, you're, you're always going to get a havoc when you're watching me play. You're always gonna get it. Hello. So you learning one from what mistake I made before? I did a very similar thing. Ooh. Eh, yeah, I'll probably get to this big rock anyhow. Give hop up at red seems fair. So okay, maybe if we're talking about like a rework, if we're gonna give Ballistic a bit of a passive, where he gets that gets like slingshot as a passive without a perk, yeah, then I think maybe put the hop ups on red mode. Dude, you're so. F I mean, you wanna you wanna do this? Why would he ever do that? Why did he do that? He's actually holding me out of zone pretty well. Um. <clears throat> Chat, shut up. Heal, good pump. Good pump. I want to kill this guy, but like. Hmm. Chat, I'm going to do something really stupid. Place a Q there. Go for whoever this is. I just realized I'm running triple havoc. How cool is that? You guys love me? Wait, no, actually. That's a good idea, because I've got an IQ one. Next one is a heal command. That's disgusting. How hot is it, though? He's lucky, kind of like. They lucky call me him. Happens to us all. It happens to us all. I feel like this guy might be a fairly easy kill. Hello? Dude, I feel like I'll breathe. Should I add a heal command chat? I think I definitely should. Ooh. 
What are you doing? Isn't he out of zone? I don't know why he did that. I don't know why he did that. I really don't know why he did that. Nah, like... 